everybody. Welcome to this SAP Business One tip that we've been doing for quite some weeks now. Uh, we started this series of um, SAP Business One tip and a coffee uh, as a way to get closer to you in these in this very challenging times where we can't reach out to you and actually have a real coffee with a face-to-face -face interaction. And um, we hope these tips are being useful for you. I'm definitely learning a lot. I've, I've said before uh, that I'm not a consultant. My name is Clara Custodio. I lead customer experience here at uh, Consensus International. We're an SAP Business One Gold Partner in North America. And, um, and uh, but what, what I've been doing is organizing customer days for many years now and uh, interacting with customers and, uh, and with our consultants as well. And I am a user uh, of the system. So um, I'm sharing the tips that I've seen uh, customers like the most in our, in our customer days or that I have enjoyed uh, the most as a user of SAP Business One. And um, Today, uh, I'm going to share a tip on, um, on queries, uh, on the system queries that come by default with SAP Business One, because it's been a recent discovery for me. And, uh, and very soon, uh, I'm going to start creating my own queries. So it's going to be a first one for me, and uh, I'll be telling you how it goes. And uh, hopefully, some of you who are not uh, writing your own queries yet will will like to join me and uh, an experience with this. So let's let's jump right into the contents of today. And uh, today, basically, uh, what I want is for you to be able to uh, access the queries that already come with SAP Business One. You might not see exactly the same queries that I'm going to show you today, and you might not have access due to authorizations. Um, remember that uh, SAP Business One has an authorization uh, scheme uh, behind. So if sometimes you're trying to do what I'm showing you uh, on these tips and you're not able to, please give us a call or send us an email and we'll find out with you if it's due to an authorization that you can ask your administrator to, to, to grant to you or if, it's, uh, or if it's a different issue. But um, the queries that I hadn't worked with before but I'm discovering now, it's uh, you just click on tools, then you go to queries and then you have your query manager here. And again, you might see a slightly different window because in your company, you might already be writing queries or someone in your company might already be writing queries. So you might have other categories here, uh, but this is what comes with the system. And uh, as a matter of fact, you have a lot of options of, of very interesting queries that you might not need to write your own because uh, as you see here, you have all types of uh, system uh, queries, different, different, uh, different queries in these menus. I would recommend that you get familiar with them, with them, and you see if there's anyone there that you can use and it can maybe help your work. Uh, you can here in the query name you can search, and it's a very uh, user-friendly uh, type of search field. You can, for instance, if you wanna, you wanna see queries that include customer uh, customer information, then you just type in customer and you see it's going to give you already the, the filter of the queries that include that word. Uh, there are a couple of queries that, that list the top five in something. You just click on top five and, uh, and there you go. Or you might be interested in seeing a query that shows you open open something, open invoices, open deliveries. If you only type in open, it's going to show you all, all the, the queries that include that word. So we're going to, I'm going to show you another very quick tip when working with queries. You might already be working with queries, but this, uh, this might be something that, that you're not using. So let's, let's see, for instance, a, a query on customers by sales amount. You choose that query and you click OK. And it's already going to show you the result of this query. This is a very simple query with only the customer code, the name, and the sales amount. 
So you, once you're in this query, you can filter as you can do with other reports or forms in SAP Business One. So let's say that we want to filter by a customer name and we're going to choose Mason. We only want to see the sales amount for this one customer. So we can filter here. And this is going to show you the same query, but only for this customer. And the tip that I want to share with you today that I very recently learned is that uh, once you have a result of a query with a, with a numeric type of column, you there is no, the sum of the column is not here, like it would be on an Excel file. And uh, I've, I've, I've done this before. Uh, I used to export this to an Excel file to in order to, to add the total amount. But actually there is a very simple way to summing up uh, total columns. And, uh, and you just need to hover and click on the sales amount while at the same time pressing the control button on your keyboard. So I'm going to do just that. And you see right there, we have the total for this query. So that was it uh, from me today. And um, please let me know on your comments or send me an email if you find any query that it's useful for you and you didn't know that it was here. And, uh, and also if you have any tip that you wanna share uh, with other users, uh, I'll be super happy to share it with, uh, with other users in, a, in tomorrow or in a different session. So please leave a comment uh, if this was useful and uh, also if you have something else that you wanna share. And uh, as always, reach out with any questions. Um, if you're not able to perform what I'm showing here, for whatever reason, we will help you investigate why that is. Uh, you're seeing now the email that you can send an email to or our phone number. And um, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna start the adventure of uh, writing our own query from a beginner's perspective, because I am a beginner. So, and uh, I hope we get lucky and, and, and we get it to work. Okay, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.